Hi y'all, it's Valerie here with Pisces Mountain Farm and I am going to do a Baker's Creek unboxing as well as show you a couple of things I got off the internet. So I guess I will show you the little things I got off the internet. These all came from AliExpress. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> the first thing I got was this little... This is a plant light. Let me just unplug it for a second. And it comes, the first one that I got, it comes with, it's got an on-off switch that you just touch. And this, it can plug into you any USB plug. Or, you know, even like a, a battery pack. So if you're wanting to use them outside and you, you can get one of those little battery banks you plug in to charge. And then you could hook it up to that. But I'm going to turn it on for you. And kind of show you. It's pretty bright. I don't know... I don't know if you can see that on screen, but it's very bright. And this one is, <clears throat> I think it was two meters, because it's all in the metric system. And then I got a, sorry, I'm trying to untangle this. Put this out of the way. I got another one. I wanted to try a couple of different ones to see if there was a difference in brightness and these they come in these little packages which you can reuse and this one does not have the on and off switch so if it's plugged in it's plugged in and I got this one in one meter I just was wanting to try a couple out they were fairly cheap I think that the the smaller ones were a dollar something but I don't know if that was free shipping and handling if it was it was only a dollar or two and then the other one was four or five dollars I think the the three meter one or the two meter one and here's this one but it has the blue and red spectrum lighting I guess is what it's supposed to be so um I got these I went out to Walmart a couple of weeks ago and I got well I went to Lowe's and got the shelf that's on sale for like 70 bucks it's the metal wire shelf and it's over here that's why I'm looking that way and I got some you know the shop lights to hang from it because anytime you order from AliExpress it's going to take anywhere from a month to two and a half months it's usually only about a month but I have had things whenever the mail was moving slowly take two and a half months to get to me but if you're patient and able to wait then these are a really good deal and I have several things that I will use them for because eventually this shelving unit over here is going to fill up. I don't have a need for them right now. I got two of the small ones and one of the longer one. Um, what I've gotten those are about probably half, all three of those is about half is what I've gotten the shop lights or one of the shop lights but um I like it that those are mobile and I could move them anywhere and plug them up to battery pack and anything that's got a USB, you know, I can plug it in there. Uh, another thing I got from AliExpress are these little Mylar packages. I got them, I got a hundred of them and they were like six or eight, I'd say between five and eight bucks free shipping. Um, like I said, you got to be willing to wait. Uh, I've been trying to switch to the Mylar. I was using the little coin ones, the paper craft ones. But I'm trying to switch to the Mylar because supposedly from my research, it will keep your seeds fresher longer. I hope that that's true. I mean, I know everyone's got their own opinion, but from, like, even when you order the seed bulk, bulk kits and you know, the stuff that's made to be opened at a later date. It's usually sealed Mylar. And honestly, I do have a heat sealer that I could seal. Like, it's it's got the, you know, it's not like a Ziploc, but you press it closed like a baggie. And I've got a heat sealer that I could go seal this edge so it could be completely sealed if I wanted to. But mostly I got these for seed swaps and... When I open a pack, I'll leave my seeds in their original package, but after I open the package of seeds, I dump them into this so I don't lose any. I had another package of 100, but I used them on the last seed swap I was in, so I needed more. <clears throat> my dogs are barking. 
All right, um, now to, where's my baby? Hold on one moment. All right, um, I ordered this. I don't know when this video is going up, but there was a couple of days where Baker's Creek shut down and I ordered this like the literally the night before it shut down you know it's opened back up since then but I ended up ordering these they shut down to restock ketchup and sanitize okay this is the first time I'm seeing what I got I mean I know I ordered it um, let's see the first thing is the Gallardia I don't know if I'm saying that right either lollipop mix like I have been gardening for a while but the way I know most of these names is from reading like I've not really heard people say a lot of them out loud so I pronounce them like I think they sound to me <laughs> this is the toothache plant bullseye I got some oh this is the free seeds um, Japanese giant mustard, Japanese giant red mustard seeds, and I already have some of these, so these might go into a swap, which I'm sure everyone will be putting those in a swap because probably everyone's getting them. I got the black pepper. This is a sweet pepper. I have the hens and chicks, hens and chickens poppy. They get these interesting seed pods on them. I got the, sorry, my, my nose is itching, the variegated coxcomb. I'm really excited about this. I used, like, this is probably one of my first loves. Like, one of my first flower loves. I remember used to thinking it was the coolest thing when I was a kid. Another toothache plant. This one does not have the yellow, or not yellow, the brown center. I got some Aurelia's Verde Amaranth. They get a green flower. I'm obsessed with green flowers. I've been looking for the green t twister cone flower seeds and they're not available in swaps. And I know there's a couple places that I could order them from, but I'm really trying not to spend any more money. That's not going to happen. I got the Brad's Atomic Grape Tomato. And lastly, lastly, the Corbachi, Cor, Corbachi pepper. This is another sweet pepper. All right, that is it for my Baker's Creek haul. I'm sure that I will have more seed hauls coming up. And plus, I do have a couple of seed swaps coming up that I will be filming. So, thank you for watching. Until next time.